let's talk about how you got started as an author. When did that all begin? What was your first book? Well, let me explain one thing right from the very beginning. If you ask me about my life and who I am and what I am, I really can't give you an answer because I'm a complete stranger to myself. I don't know who I am. I know that I'm several different people. Everybody is several different people. And the, the writer inside of me lives its own life and makes its own demands. So I'm certain you've heard of writer's block. I have writer's flow. I can't stop. I have been writing all my life. I've written 10 plays. I've written now seven uh, comic novels, two books on popular culture, the pulp art book being a big success. And I'm c continuously writing. I have been doing this since I was six years old. I will be doing it until the very last day because this is what I am as a writer. Now, when you were writing in, in, in school, what kind of feedback did you get from the teachers and from your parents? Well, uh, none at all, because nobody took writing that seriously. And I, when I, I went to the University of Chicago and I got my bachelor's degree there, my master's degree in, in literature, and um, there was really no creative writing programs. It's a very conservative university, and it's a place to go to study and to learn rather than to create. And so what is it about creating that inspires you? I really don't have an answer to that because I don't know myself that well. I don't know, really know what my name is on the inside. So I really can't answer that question honestly. So if you had to give yourself a name, what would it be? Writer. Now, you've written books, plays. What do you prefer to write? All of them. Uh, but what I write is what the dictator inside of me, waking me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, saying, I have an idea, get out of bed and write it down because you will forget it by the time you wake up. So I, I have interrupted sleep as a writer. When, uh, the, um, when, I'm, when the dictator inside uh, demands that I get up and write down his latest idea. In terms of the book, how long did it take you to write it? And what was your food for thought in terms of writing it? Where did you get all your ideas from? Uh, again, I have to answer, I have absolutely no idea where my writing comes from. I have absolutely no idea where all of these creative thoughts come from. I'm a, I, uh, I am a mystery to myself, unfortunately. I'm not avoiding the question. I'm answering it honestly when I say I don't know. Do you ever talk to anybody when you're writing a book? No, I just, um, I just write it. And how long did it take you to write this book? About six months. And w was that working on it religiously every night? Oh, yes. What I do is I go to work at about... Um, uh, 9 o'clock in the evening, and then I quit about 3 o'clock in the morning. Everything is quiet, there's no interruptions, and I can do my work. And then I sleep late in the morning. That's my lifestyle. I think a lot of authors work that way, don't you agree? One of my problems is I don't, the truth, I don't know any other authors. Mm -hmm. I'm com Myself and my writing and my inner demons, we're all isolated from the rest of the world. Would you want kids to read this book as well? It seems that my audience are kids. For all the work that I do, they're all in their 20s, whether in collecting or whether in writing or anything like that. I have a, a mind that is tuned like two radio, to, like two tuning forks. One turns on the other across the other side of the room. My mind is a tuning fork for 20-year-olds. It, you, you're an interesting guy. You grew up in Chicago. You're very well educated. But apparently, I've been told that you had one of the largest collections of robots. Is that true? Yes. Um, one of my problems is I was born as a collector. So in terms of your book, what would you say is the message in it? The number one message is that laughter is really needed. That humor, a la Mark Twain, is really needed. That it serves a purpose in American society the way lubricating oil helps the gears in a machine.